Hi everyone, I'm Debbie Indahart Giordano of Master Brokers. Uh, welcome to our weekly video. I hope you're enjoying this springtime weather. It's supposed to get colder here pretty soon and maybe some more rain, but that'll be, uh, the rain will be welcome, but it sure has been nice having this pre-spring uh, warm season. So um, I've got some good news and bad news. So I'll share the, the bad news with you first. Uh, I just saw an article in the San Jose Mercury News about the BART deadline was missed again by Valley Transportation Authority. That's the one, the BART line that's extended to Melpitas and then on into Berryessa, San Jose. And again, the bad news is they don't have a new date for the opening. That's about two years late in the opening date and it's making a lot of people frustrated. I know buyers that come in and look at Melpitas properties when I meet them in the open houses, they talk about the BART opening. So they do know it's coming. We, we know it's there and hopefully, hopefully it's going to be very soon. So if I have a new date on that, I'd, I'll report that out to you. And then on the good news, on the lending side, the FHA, which is the Fair Housing Administration, their down payment requirements uh, do not require large savings accounts. So you can get into a property with, say, 3% down uh, and qualify for FHA financing. Um, and even if you have lower credit scores, those are acceptable. And the loan limits have gone up uh, quite a bit. I'm going to see what that loan limit is here. But um, it, it has gone up, so it's making it more doable for a lot of buyers in the, in the area. Um, and uh, so that's the, the good side of that. So let's talk about a couple things that you may want to consider now with your spring uh, house cleaning and getting ready for the spring selling season. Seven tips to get organized. Number one, follow the ABC organizational rule. Uh, assemble items that you want to organize. Create a system for storing them, say in baskets, bos ba baskets boxes, and bins and consider containers and cartons for well-organizing effect. Number two, hide the small stuff. Often it's not the large items that cause a disorganization, but it's the smaller items. We talk about that when we get uh, pre-staging a home. Create both open and hidden storages. Uh, follow the one in, one out rule. So when you get a new item, you need to discount and donate the old item that's uh, outdated. Inventory. A minimum of once a year, take an inventory of what you need, what you need to keep. Uh, use clear storage containers that allow you to be able to see inside and see uh, what you've actually got inside the uh, containers. And then purge. Well, they say purge once. I say purge, purge, purge. Each ses session uh, season, get rid of something that can go to a new home. So. Um, in the old days, people were moving about every three to five years uh, that I saw, and that's now changed. I, um, people are staying in their homes longer, so getting rid of the cluttering and, and, and purging is really, really important so that you can stay free and able to clean and keep the house neat. So uh, let's look at the values. Uh, I've got the stats for January 2020, so last month. The average home price in Milpitas is at $1,057,000, and the median price is exactly at $1 million. That has dropped. Now, again, those numbers are based on sales that were made in November or December, so they're finally reported out. We had a little bit of a slowdown, but what I've seen recently in the last three to four weeks, and those are the two sales that were closing next week, the one on Maryland Drive, 20 grand over list, five offers, and the B Court, seven offers, $47,000 over list will start uh, being reported in next um, next month's activity. So uh, the prices have definitely gone up. I think we're up about another hundred grand from the, the low mark of, of this last year. So I wouldn't be worried about these numbers too much. And even the condo prices have dropped a little bit to 675,000 for an average and 725 for a medium. So um, that's it. For now, that's, uh, I think that's enough. Uh, I hope to talk to you next week again. I'll bring you some more data. I've got a fourplex that's coming up in Milpitas that I'll be listing shortly so I can get you some details on that. And then we're out talking to sellers uh, every day. So get you some more inventory coming up soon. Talk to you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.